I gotta get Jess in the fight somewhere. I gotta be careful here not to expose Ruben too much. If you say so. Uh, stream went offline for a sec. Is it back now? Do I need to reload? Seems good now. Okay. Cool. Alright. Let's see if the Mimic Grenade attracts their interest. Alright. A little bit of damage, but he's still okay. And we still haven't triggered that next mob, which is nice, nice, nice. Okay, time to move DK into position. Um, and try to hack that, uh, hack that damn terminal. I don't know if that's on my end or not, um, as far as like the buffering and everything you're talking about. Not a problem. Ninety six percent chance. That seems like a pretty good uh Yeah, let's roll with that. Didn't do quite as much damage as I would have hoped, but we'll be okay, I think. I really I've gotta to move Tony. He cannot do any good back here. I really want to save that uh I really want to save that mimic grenade. Come on, Jess, hit him. Yes. You want some more? Perfect. How many is that now? All right. Go, go, go. Alright. 
And again, I could have moved Esteban, and he triggers Overwatch automatically. God, I've got to, I've got to start thinking about this. Fucking concentrate. Whoa. That did some damage, son. On my way. Let's see if we can run DK inside and hack this terminal real fast. Yeesh, you know what? That is not... I'm still not in line of sight with it is the problem. Uh, I want to reload this turn. Uh, thanks for Tui. I'll check that. Uh, I'll check that link. Tony's the one that really needs to do this. Alright, so let's shred this guy's cover. And we'll all have a go at him. And if that triggers the next mob, that's fine. We can do it. Nice, nice, Jess, nice. You want some more? And you can see the uh, sectoid back there just waiting. Ruben has no shot. What, Esteban, are you in shape to get anywhere that would be helpful? It's clear. 99% chance. I like that. But I'd also like to heal Tony if I can. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Let me quick save here. Because this might get ugly. I do not want to send him over there for a melee. I know that much. Alright. That's okay. That's okay. That's not okay. That's the opposite of okay. I quick save before I did that right. Tell me I did. Quick save. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Okay, so. Do not. Do not go inside the ship. That is the, uh, that is the lesson to be learned here. All right. Well, basically, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever it is, Ruben does is going to end in in destruction. There's got to be a way to just take that guy down. Uh, I've got a grenade I could throw. 
Let's do that. All right, so he's down. Let's heal Tony. Because he's going to need it. And Overwatch. Let's see if the next mob just triggers automatically. Not so much. Okay, I'm wondering if this will get DK line of sight to um, to at least hack that damn thing. On my way. Let's see. Hold on. Quick save, then hack. Infiltrating access point. Okay, let's see what we get here. Uh, income from current region increased by 25. Recover a mission lead on an alien facility. Uh, that's fine. And we're going to deactivate the beacon for sure. Go. Alright, that's fine. I'd rather have the lead on the facility, probably. Income is decent at the moment. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Now we just have to finish uh killing them. Killing all of them. Okay. Let's take a round and reload. Back online. Scanning. Before we jump into the hot seat again. Reloaded. Moving to Overwatch. I might regret doing this, but... Okay, yep. Okay. Come on down, guys. I'm ready for you. Shit. Also shit. It's a giant ball. How can you miss? It's huge. It's the size of a Buick. Okay. Tony, let's open with Shred Storm Cannon. I think we can get that and that sectoid back there. Okay, shredded some armor. We like that. What else you got? How about... Let's make sure we don't get DK here. Try to take out as much of this infrastructure as we can. Open it up to everybody else's fire. Go. Yeah, that was uh, that was not the best Overwatch round we've had. That one last time with DK, that was the best. Okay, Jess, what do you got? 54%, 39%. Not awesome. 
56 percent, 51 percent. Um, might do cereal on you and see what happens. Lauren has got no shot from here, but he might be able to. F well, he can't quite flank him, but he can get close enough to put a grenade up his ass or something. 57. What if we do the grenade? What does that look like? If we can kill him now, I want to go ahead and do it. As I suspected, not going to be that easy. Might be able to move Esteban. Working a better shot. Can't see where I'm going there, though. some reason, the cursor just does not want to get to that square. It's bugging out every time I mouse over it. 68%. You know what? Uh, I don't like the 68%. I say we grenade him. Okay, he's down. Uh... Hey, God of War, how's it going? Oh, Jess, why did you do that to me? Come on, DK, kill this guy, will you? What? Alright, we're going to use this Reaper. Attack. But, um, no, wait a second, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I definitely got that one. That is confirmed. Okay. Hey, General Gad, what's up? I really have to... I really have to... Either... I don't know, I've got those blue screen... Those blue screen rounds. And there are times when I'm like, Oh, I really need to use those blue screen rounds. But I hate to give up the grenades. Because there are times when the grenades really come in handy. Tony's gravely wounded. That's not good. Alright. Well, we're going to have to do something about that quickish. Uh, let's see, how long is Tony out for? Eight days. Let's go back to HQ, and... I don't know if it's you having internet issues, uh, General Gad. Uh, if everybody's been saying Twitch has been acting a little, a little hinky... Back to that in a second. Pardon me. Uh, medical assistance. Okay, let's see what we get out of that. Shadow Chamber. Before we begin attempting decrypting the alien data stores, we must first come to understand the means by which they protect their most valuable data. Field of Psionic Interference, tied directly to the Advent Network. 
Okay. Shadow Chamber. Um, so, let's see. We'll go ahead and start on the Gatekeeper Autopsy. This specimen, henceforth referred to as the Gatekeeper, seems to harbor considerable psionic power. As with the alien's other unique biomechanical field unit, it will take some time to decipher the systems involved in its function. Yeah, that looks hideous. Just so you know. That's terrible. Okay. I have to admit, there is something exciting about working under the more intense conditions found on the Avenger. Every decision, every development is of the utmost importance. There's no room for me. Shadow Chamber. Objective added. Okay. Build the Shadow Chamber. Main objective. Build the Shadow Chamber in the individual facility. Examine an Advent Officer Corpse. Access the Alien Network. Summon an Eliminated Codex. Okay, so this is just a uh, story story stuff. Alright. 14 days. We can now construct a facility designed specifically to analyze any materials we recover related to their avatar Alright. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Hooray. All right. Alien facility construction in three weeks, retaliation in three weeks. Um, we've got a resistance informant, rural checkpoints, advent stifles the movement of resources, decreasing supplies. That's not good. And Advent incorporates Viper poison into their weaponry, giving some Advent soldiers poisonous rounds for a month. Is there any way to counter all of that? How long has Tony got now? Three days. Let's go ahead and do the three days. All right. Go finish the supply drop that we interrupted before. Extract an advent. We get an engineer and 90 intel. We will do that. We will do that. Okay. Let's take a look at this here. So we can go to. Did I never do blue screen rounds? Did I just unlock them? Hold on. Let's build. Let's build items here. <coughs> Excuse me. Blue screen rounds. Yeah, I never did them. Ooh, proximity mine though. I want both. I want both. Alright, so Fabian was telling me to look into what I can buy here. Rush Research, Berserker Autopsy, Rush Research Chrysalid, Gatekeeper Autopsy. Get a Scientist, you can buy supplies for Intel. Yeah, that's cool.
All right, let's do that. Okay, let's build blue screen rounds are gonna cost us seventy five, proximity mine one hundred. Let's go ahead and do both. Ooh, I forgot about the EMP grenade. We'll come back to that. Okay. Um so I guess utility item is going to be blue screen rounds, and that means we give up one grenade. Okay. Um, and let's see, I'm going to give up a... I'm going to give up uh, another grenade for a proximity mine. Okay, now let's do some weapon upgrades. Auto loader, free reloads. Do I have an advanced auto loader? Not yet. Superior magazine. That'll be uh, six shots. That's good. I like that. Advanced laser sight. Superior hair trigger. Advanced repeater free instant kills. Instant kill chance 10%. I'm cool with what Jess has got now. Let's check the others though. What do I have Tony outfitted with? Uh, no, that's not what I'm trying to do. I need to go to weapon upgrade. Okay, here we go. Repeater, free instant kills, 5% chance. Extended magazine, laser sight, okay. What about DK? Stock, missed shots do damage. Superior repeater, free instant kills. Superior hair trigger, bonus action chance, 15. Plus 15%, alright, sure, that's good. And what about Esteban? What's he got? Repeater for free instant kills, scope for increased aim, and superior hair trigger for bonus action chance. Alright. We can give somebody an advanced repeater. Let me see if anybody needs it especially. Repeater... What about Reuben? Uh, I do like getting supplies with Intel, maybe a bit too much. It seems it converts really well, though. Yeah, it might be might be worth looking into at some point. Superior repeater. What I've got? I've got an advance. It's like does ten. Okay, so let's um, let's find somebody who's who's got one that does like five. Bonus kill chance 5, and we'll take that to 10. Okay, that's cool. Okay, Fabian is advising me to use some, uh, some PCS here, some personal combat sim. Superior focus, 25 will, advanced agility, 15 dodge, advanced speed, 2. I tell you, Tony needs the advanced speed. Hold on, let me give that to him. Slightly greater movement range. If there's one person I don't want getting mind controlled, it's Jess. Um, okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm trying to think about, let's see, what are the others? Uh, two mobility and it 
and advanced agility. I don't know, I mean... <sighs> one of these... One's a little bit greater area of movement, and the other is a better chance to dodge. I, I don't know. I don't know that it really matters, one over the other. Okay, so we'll call that done. Let's do a loadout save real fast. And then we're going to go hit this. I notice that this is going to be very difficult. Best of luck to all of us. Try to keep Tony out of harm's way. Alright. Operation Fallen Sky. Eh, a little generic. A little generic. It goes without saying, then why did you say it? Might get to make some use of the grappling hook, since this is a... metropolitan area. We might be able to use the verticality to our... Advantage. They can't all be Operation Death Glove. God, but I wish they could be. No, it was Demon Glove. Operation Demon Glove. I notice our extraction point is being is being covered by. Uh, I noticed that our uh, our extraction point was being uh, covered by fucking mech. Twelve rounds. Twelve rounds. All right, there they are. They're on to me. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to do a mission start save. Let's do that one more time. Operation Demon Glove Revengeance. Am I the only person that thinks that Operation Demon Glove calls to mind some really heinous jokes about masturbation?
once more with feeling. No, you were not, Brent. I was about to say earlier, but decided not to. Glad I'm not the only one. Excuse me. Well, this sucks. Tell you what, this really, really, it's a, it's a bad way for this, uh, it's a bad way for this mission to go right off the bat. Is what it is. But you're facing the wrong fucking direction. Which means that might not do... Well, let's just find out real fast. Because if she is facing the wrong direction, then I don't give a shit about any of this. Let's move our VIP. There's just not a lot of options right right now. There's just not. I don't know where the line is, but it's somewhere about right that point right there. We're just going to be SOL. Absolutely. So yeah, does not uh, does not take much to trigger them. All right, let's find out if Jess is... All right, no, Jess has got... Jess has got shots. What's over there? What's over there?
Okay. Not much of a shot, though. Okay, shredded a little bit of armor. Okay, that's one codex down. Let's see, somebody else can... Um, But you have to kill to for the Reaper thing to work. You got to kill, and I don't think that's going to take me entirely out of the sight line of that guy up there. Oh, this is a bad situation. Bad situation. Ninety-one percent shot there, and that's it. I seriously doubt that 100% is going to be 100%. You know what I mean? Ooh, nice. Nice. Death from above, motherfucker. Ah! Yep, and yep, and that codex is right in there. I don't think Bowling can do jack or shit right now. Without revealing their position. Oh, but it didn't kill him. Well, then that was fucking wasted. Ugh. I'm just unhappy with this entire situation. I really am. Well, Andromedans can't dodge, I think, so 100% should, in theory, be 100%. <laughs> One of the few times in XCOM that 100% actually means 100%. I tell you, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a loss here. It's just like, feels like I can't move anywhere but behind that goddamn truck. Uh, or I'm going to trigger. That's a new class, isn't it? Is that the red one? Does the red one just have three shields? Or I say just three shields. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, the point is that this is just a uh, this is just a, s a shitty situation all around. Sure thing. Finally. 
Let's see if we can get ourselves positioned slightly better to take this crew on. Esteban's going to be on Overwatch. Well, he's he's covert though. But he's got covering fire all the time. Can't hear them stomping around over there just yet. Let's send uh let's send Lauren. Moving on target location. Okay, so he can spot them, but they don't know we're here yet. That's all it took. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna sit up there and beat the shit out of us now. This is a bad situation. Grenade launcher doesn't work. Man, I tell you what. I've never felt so stuck so quickly. <clears throat> so I guess it's like that sidewalk there. Like as soon as you step onto that sidewalk, they've got you. Wait, did I just quick load? That's not what I was trying to do. Or not what I should have been doing. It was what I was trying to do. It's just not what I should have been doing. <laughs> have a quick load. Uh, haven't quick loaded in a while, apparently. Let's test this theory. Go, go, go. Will do. Okay, nope. It doesn't have to be the sidewalk. Already, 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 already. They said very difficult. They weren't kidding. And the problem is, like, we really can't, we really can't dilly dally here. We've only got twelve rounds, and I'm sure this is not the the toughest thing that we're gonna face. If 
they know we're here. And there's really no point whatsoever in... There's no point in doing anything but just getting set up and waiting as best we can. If we can get into that building, there's another building there. We can at least... Not a problem. Maybe we can at least... Uh, I think I'm going to still send... I'll send Esteban over there. He might... well, no, it's... Yeah, it's presumptive. Very presumptive. In fact... I don't know if this is going to trigger anything. Okay, not so much. What about Ruben? What about Ruben? How much good can he do? Can't imagine the shotgun's going to be good from uh, going to be that good from that high up. Okay. Put everybody in this building and see what happens. Okay. Well, they're not to us yet. Put him where Tony is. I want to put Lauren where, or uh, Daniel where Lauren is. I'm going. Let's just do this. That's all we can do. Moving the designated. 
the coordinates. Well, we haven't pulled them yet. Tension. Okay, still haven't pulled them. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's hold off on that, just in case we need to shut down that uh, that unit. Jess can't really do much, but she can toss a mimic beacon. That'll maybe give the uh, the two codexes something to do next turn. but it pours. That was a good shot. Let's see if we can take control of this sectopod. Uh, shut down chance 72. I don't know if it's perfect in this situation, but one nifty trick you can pull is setting the sniper on Overwatch and getting view of the enemy group with the concealed ranger. You can a lot of the time trigger Overwatch on their turn and then have a full squad's worth of turns afterwards. Also sets up pretty nice Overwatch ambushes. Uh, yeah, in hindsight, in hindsight that would have, um, that would have been the thing to do. The thing would have been to have Est Esteban in concealment be the one pressing forward. All right, let's see if we can um let's see if we can shut down this this sectopod. All right. Well, that's that's one less thing to worry about. Say 
I have no idea if this is a good move or not. Good. Okay, there's the mimic beacon gone. Was that? I couldn't tell who that was. Uh oh. Hey, Blade Storm wins again. I got it, right? Okay. What can Jess do? Seventy-nine percent. 59%. This is not great odds. What about uh, pistol shots? 87% on the codex, and that's it. Alright, well, if Tony leads with a grenade, then he can uh, go again. So let's go ahead and blow up this guy and take a piece of the sectopod, too, I hope. We'll see on that. Alright. Shredded a little armor. Let's see if anybody else is... Well, let's just see where everybody else is. 100% on the Codex. Can't kill it, but Elite Trooper 82%, that's pretty good. And that Elite Lancer. Okay, so what do I get here? Um, if you score a kill during your turn, the next attack will miss. If you score one more kills, you get a single bonus move. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. We've still got plenty of bad guys. Ruben can almost kill him in one go. Uh, Kodak, 67%. Elite lands for thirty six percent. Situation is just not ideal. All right, well, the ninety nine percent against that, um, Let's go ahead and take that shot. 
and all right so that's one person we don't have to worry about And now I can take a shot at the Sectopod, or the Codex, or that guy. Or I could do Overwatch, or some bullshit like that. 87%. Lightning Hands. I just want to do more damage on him, if that's what I'm going to do. All right, let me quick save here. Let's go ahead and have Tony try to drill the codex, because... If he can take the codex, then that's just one less thing we got to worry about. All right, do this, Tony. You missed, Tony. Why, why did you do that, Tony? Ah, 58%. It was a long shot anyway. I figure I can set guys on Overwatch and take the Stun Lancer. Cuz he'll come in he'll, he'll come in for a melee. And uh and that'll be that. I'm also wondering if Esteban isn't if if Esteban's problem isn't that he's um too close to this guy. Let's see if I flank him and move a little bit farther away. 100% chance. All right. We'll take the 100%. Maybe we'll get a critical. We'll see. Dodged. That's ooh, that's fucking great, man. <laughs> that's fucking great. Ah, uh, what the hell? I'm telling you what. All right. Well, that's one of them dead. Who's keeping score? If I move DK, would that help at all? There's really nowhere to move him to and maintain cover. All right, let's just take this shot. Come on, DK. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. God. God damn it. God damn it, man. I shouldn't be doing this. Like, that's the thing. I'm doing this to myself. I shouldn't be taking a 57. Like, I should look at the 57% and say, that's a miss. That's a miss. Don't even bother. It's a miss. I set myself up for disappointment. On my way. All right. 97% probably miss. Oh, he dodged. He dodged, you say. Uh. Still got to deal with the sectopod. Yeah, the Codex wouldn't actually die, though. We all know that. He'll dodge or, uh, you know, it'll miss or something. Something something will guarantee that the Codex does not get hit. All right. We'll start on the Sectopod, I guess. Let the Lancer come in. Uh-oh, Sectopod's no longer hacked.
Uh oh. I think the killed Lauren. I'm very frustrated right now. I'm very, very frustrated right now. We have at least that going for us. Okay, Lauren's ble bleeding out. Um, Go patch him up. Can't get him close enough to do a capacitor discharge. All right, let's just get him into cover. Settle for that. I don't really need to get any closer than this. But it would be nice if Tony could shred his armor before I do this. hundred percent chance to not kill him. I'm not sure how that helps. It's clear. Well, let's just see what the tower will give us. Maybe, uh, maybe there'll be some bonus that, that can help here. Small intel cache. <laughs> Thanks. I'll somehow I'll find I'll find a way to fight on without this. I guess. Give him a big heal. Let's do this. Executed. Okay. Okay. In hindsight, I should have used the grapple. It's all right. We'll we'll deal somehow. Uh, Fabian is saying a full team with 15% chance of insta-kill could be devastating. Yeah, there's no question about that. It's uh, 
it's handy. It's handy when it kicks in. Seven, seven rounds. And a lot of fighting to do yet. I guess that'll be okay. Is it clear? Chances are no, buddy. Chances are no. Understood. Moving out. I think the glass shattering sound effect might have tripped a little early. Let's get her up there, and I can at least pull her back if she sees anything. Affirmative. Moving out. Did a real number on that building. Okay, what is that? That's uh, an advanced mech, an officer, uh, trooper. Looks like two advanced mechs. And then there's another stun lancer and another advanced mech back there. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Who's got our other mimic beacon? Esteban wants to know if I want a compendium of military strategies for my birthday. My birthday is not till December. I don't know if I can wait that long, pal. Not a problem. All right. Going haywire. Let's see what we can do here. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what. 
there's the the game has never sent a more clear message of fuck you, Brent, than in that moment right there. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. It did the exact same thing again. You understand? You understand that, like, every time, every time you do it, like, it's, it, it, you know, it's a new random chance. Like, every time. It did the exact same thing again. It did the exact same thing again. <laughs> oh, fuck you, XCOM. I hate you. Or I don't know, maybe it's not maybe maybe it's not a new random chance every time. I've certainly done the like the uh, the quick reload and and had another go at a hack or something like that and gotten a wildly different result, but I don't know, maybe it's not randomized every time. Maybe there are times when it's set in stone. Like right now. Maybe right now it's set in stone that Daniel does not get to hack this droid. This, that's, that's just, I mean, that's, th it's the exact same three times in a row. It can't be, it can't be a random chance right now. Oh my God. It's killing me. <laughs> it's fucking killing me. I'm wearing pants right now, Esteban, so it's definitely not a failure to wear pants. Let's get it. Okay. So that's something. Is that it? Do you just have the one shot on the Lancer? Oh boy, is that disappointing. I want to use that shred cannon, but it doesn't have the range to do anything right now. I don't have another grenade because I gave it up for the blue screen rounds, which haven't done me a whole lot of good yet. Let's see, what about a plasma grenade? Plasma grenades are great, they, they could help a lot. Uh, Adverse, Infinity, uh, Adverse Infinity is saying, typically for Axis games, use seeds for the random number generation, so loading from the same point. Yeah, it will likely be the same. Do a different action and then try again, then who knows. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, I don't know, I don't know exactly how it works, but like I said, I've done that, I've done, you know, a quick save, quick load, try to hack something, and it, you know, it misses, and then quick, quick reload, try it again, and it succeeds. Um, why it wasn't doing anything in that case, I don't know. Alright, 99% chance, uh, let's go ahead and do lightning hands... And then if it'll do any good whatsoever, um, let's go ahead and move Jess into a better position for next round. 
Victor Valdez can stay put. Okay, combat protocol, seven to eight. I'm just not sure if that's the best use of best use of that uh, that ability. I'd love to do seven to eight to that uh, that trooper. That'd be nice. It'll do a lot more damage to the heavy mech. Do I have a shot at that trooper? 35%. Hardly worth it. Hardly worth it. Alright, let's go ahead and zap the mech. And that'll be a little bit less damage we have to worry about taking off once he wakes up. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see. I need to try to put this guy in as secure a position as I can. Six rounds. Okay, he's still shut down. Here come the other two. Oh man, our loot expired. That sucks. Alright, let's see if this shredder attack can take care of any of our problems here. I can't quite see where that other guy is, but... Well, let me quick save just in case I misfire this. Here comes trouble. Come on, Tony, take him down, take him down, buddy. Blue screen rounds helped a little bit there. Fifty-eight percent is not great, actually. Isn't there a stun lancer somewhere too? I don't see him. Moving the designated coordinates. That's a Okay, that's him down. Enemies down. Free action, hair trigger, sweet. Um, get to better cover and Overwatch, I guess. I bet I could, if DK's capacitor charge, if I can get him close enough to take that, I bet that'll kill him. Let's see. He's got a 70% chance of killing him right now. Uh, no, not that. Capacitor discharge. Good job. All right, we got a stun lancer that's still out there. Let's go ahead and overwatch Jess. Um, it's clear. Scanning. 
I'd say picks or it didn't happen, but I don't want to be right. <laughs> touche, sir. Touche. Uh, oh, I don't know if it's been mentioned, but if I'm not mistaken, both EMP grenade and blue screen rounds reduce hack defense on a successful hit. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, I certainly didn't know that. That's cool, though. Excuse me. Lauren's still not in a great way. I ought to be... I actually ought to get him out of harm's way, like pronto. On my way. A hit from a stun lancer might kill him at this point. Sure thing. Okay, I'll go. All right, well, we're here at least one more turn, waiting on Mr. Valdez. Moving on target location. That'll be okay. Uh, I can heal him. I'm just not going to take the time to, Fabian. I'm just going to, I'm just going to plan on getting everybody out of here before the need arises.
say so. Okay, and now evac all. VIP secure and in position for evac. Much better. Yes, much better. All right, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Lauren definitely got wounded. And I th was it Tony? I can't remember. Maybe it was... Maybe it was Esteban. Yeah, that was, uh... That was enjoyable. How bad off are we here? Lauren and Esteban wounded. Not gravely wounded, but wounded. Well done, Axe Lords. And we get uh we get a uh an engineer out of the deal. Alright, let's see how how long are they gonna be out? Six days and four days. We'll definitely have to deal with that. Um Get Kiefer Optatsy one day, clearly in debris three days. Let's go ahead and assign our new engineer to the Shadow Chamber. And let's do a post mission save. And let's run the clock just a little bit. Not now, thank you though. Avenger plotting new course. Try to finally get these supplies that we've been gunning for. Strategic resource located. Okay, wonderful. Setting course for sector twelve, East Africa. Okay, heal faster, guys. Okay, alien Siam. Item Okay, uh, Advent Datapad, Chrysalid, Berserker. I really don't care. Uh, thank you, Fabian. Uh, have a great time. I actually did check out the black market. I don't know if you were watching at that point, but I did go over there and look through all the, you know, like the research that you can instant buy and all that stuff. So thank you, uh, thank you for the suggestion. And uh, we'll catch up with you next time, man. referred to as a berserker is clearly a genetic relation to the other mutant species we have encountered in the field for reasons yet unknown this particular variant is unique in that it is altogether consumed by what can only be described as blind rage a thirst for combat unlike any other creature we've encountered some of our more theoretical experiments. Perhaps the next... Lauren. Okay, power relay, resistance comms. Let's go ahead and do comms. Resistance communications facility construction Initiated. Always going to need more of those. Did the alien at least get a happy ending, Esteban asks. Yes. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. As if the typical muton wasn't aggressive enough. Does, does, any, does anybody want to take a guess what overdrive serum is derived from? Ooh, sweet, codename Ragnarok. Overdrive serum derived from the adrenal glands of berserker alien boosts the soldier's nervous system, resulting in greater mobility and significant damage resistance for multiple turns. Overdrive serum can only be used in combat once. It will be removed from the soldier's inventory permanently once activated. All right. Presumably, the name chrysalis 
derives from assumptions made previously about the creature's unusual means of reproduction. Although rumors have long prevailed about the existence of zombies created as a byproduct of the chrysalid gestation, recent reports seem to indicate a new, equally disturbing means of propagating their species. All right, and I think, let's see, shouldn't be too long. We'll have, yeah, L-bomb one day. Let's go ahead and do that. Just run the clock for one more day. Okay, and Lauren's cool. All right, and let's see, I guess we're going to go to our supply drop. Okay, Shadow Chamber. Although I'm impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objectives added. New objectives added. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material recovered from the Advent Black Site, Commander. With the Shadow Chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capability to analyze the Codex artifacts recovered by us. The Doctor sure does favor the crotchal region, doesn't he, Esteban? He sure does, buddy. Commander, what have we got? Shadow Chamber running the numbers. These are the tactical projections for our next field operation. Elite officer, elite trooper, elite shield bearer, Andromedon, Archon, gatekeeper. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Uh, I do like the idea of countering the Viper rounds thing, though. We get 90 intel. That's not too much. Incentive. Okay. Elite officer, elite trooper, Andromedon, Viper, gatekeeper, elite shield bearer. Elite shield bearer. Hooray. Uh, resistance informant reduces the retaliation counter by two weeks, okay. And Operation Ghost Giant, very difficult. We get an engineer. Rural checkpoints decreases the supplies given at the next resistance supply drop by 50%. Andromedon, Codex, Heavy Mech, Elite Shield Bear, Elite Trooper, Gatekeeper, Elite Lancer, Elite Officer. Well... Fooey. I don't know what I'm going to choose. We're going to have to think about it, but whatever it's going to be, we're going to uh, we're going to hold off and do this one later today because it's 9:30 and it's time to go get my little girl up. So we're going to uh, we're going to save here and uh, get back to this. Sometime later today, uh, I'll probably be I'll probably be playing when she's napping. So that's about you know five, five and a half, six hours from now. So anyway, if you guys are around, come back and check that out. And of course, uh, if you want to catch up on any of the uh, the playthroughs I've been doing, I'm uploading them same day to my my uh, YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com/slash Viking Brent Adams. I've got the entire Axe Lords versus Aliens series up right now that you can check out in a playlist there. And, um, of course, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, at VikingBren, I always post there when I'm going to go live. And if you haven't already, join the Outlaw Gamer Society at outlawgamers.com. Plenty of other people playing uh, Twitch. There's a module at the top of the site that will show you who's on and what they're playing. Cool people playing cool games from the world's greatest gaming community. I'm out of here for now, but I will see you guys next time, most likely later today and possibly tomorrow as well. Thanks very much for uh, coming down, hanging out, and uh, all, the, uh, all the great advice and feedback and stuff. I do appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, may the Norse be with you.